Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Edixit.com In this video, we are going to provide Trial Balance and Rectification of Errors Problem 6 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Rectify the following errors. A. Sales book overcast by 700 rupees. B. Purchases book overcast by 500 rupees. C. Sales return book overcast by 300 rupees. D. Purchases return book overcast by 200 rupees. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let's first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited and any decrease should be created. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be created and any decrease should be debited. From the point of view of rectification, the errors may be classified into the following categories. Errors which do not affect the trial balance. Errors which affect the trial balance. We have already seen the errors which do not affect the trial balance in the previous problems. They usually are committed in two or more accounts and are also known as two-sided errors. They can be rectified by recording a journal entry giving the correct debit and credit to the concerned accounts. However, in this problem, we are going to deal with the errors which affect the trial balance. These errors affect only one account and these errors can be rectified by giving an explanatory note in the account affected. They can also be rectified by recording a journal entry with the help of the suspense account. Examples of these errors are Error of casting Error of carrying forward Error of balancing Error of posting to correct account but with wrong amount Error of posting to the correct account but on the wrong side. Error of posting to the correct account but to the wrong side with the wrong amount. Omitting to show an account in the trial balance. In a real situation, there can be many one sided errors which cause a difference in trial balance. To rectify these errors, we need to open a suspense account. When the trial balance is not in agreement and if there are so many one-sided errors, it is not possible to rectify all the errors. So, we open a suspense account and make the total of debit and credit columns equal and proceed with the accounting process. When these errors are located at a later point of time and when the specific accounts and amounts involved are identified, the amounts from the suspense account are transferred to the relevant accounts and then the suspense account is closed. The steps involved in rectifying the one-sided errors using the suspense account are as follows. Identify the account affected due to the error. Ascertain the amount of excess debit or credit or short debit or credit in the affected account. If the error has resulted in excess debit or short credit in the affected account, we have to credit the account with the amount of excess debit or short credit. If the error has resulted in excess credit or short debit in the affected account, we have to debit the account with the amount of excess credit or short debit. If you remember, for recording any transaction, we need minimum of two accounts in the double entry system, right? We use the suspense account to complete the journal entry by debiting or creating the suspense account as another account affected otherwise. Let us understand this by taking one example wherein the sales book is overcast by 5000 rupees. By the way, if you are wondering what casting is, it means that the totaling of values in a column. So here, all the entries in the amount column of the sales book are totaled. The total is wrongly amounted with an additional 5000 rupees. To be more specific, if the total was 20,000 rupees, it was calculated as 25,000 rupees. That is what it means by overcasting. Anyway, coming back to our problem, as you know, the sales is a revenue account and when we total the sales account, there will be a credit balance, right? 
so the credit balance is calculated as 5000 rupees more in other words there is an excess credit so as we have discussed just now when there is an excess credit we should debit the corresponding account to rectify this error here the account under consideration is the sales account so let's debit the sales account with 5000 rupees as we are following the double entry system the corresponding account that should be created is the suspense account and the credit amount is 5000 rupees as we are now acquainted with the process let us now proceed with the analysis of each of the errors in the given problem let us start with the first error here the sales book is overcast by 700 rupees now hear that it is only the sales account that is erroneously overcast so this is one sided error as you know the sales account is a revenue account so all the entries belonging to the sales account will be created in the sales account so when you total the sales account will have a credit balance and the overcasting results in excess credit so to rectify this error we should debit the sales account as this is one sided error the other account that need to be created is suspense account With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the title as "General Recordings to Rectify the Errors." I repeat, this is not just journal; it is general recordings to rectify the errors. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, ledger folio, debit amount in rupees. and credit amount in rupees as the date is not given let's just write the serial number in the date column let's now enter sales account as the debit entry let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let's now write the debit amount of 700 rupees in the debit amount column that completes the recording of the debit entry let's now record the credit entry as you know the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin they also start with 2 Let us now write the suspense account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of seven hundred rupees in the credit amount column. That completes the recording of the credit entry. Let us now enter the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being sales book overcast by seven hundred rupees error rectification recording. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. Here, the purchases book is overcast by five hundred rupees. Note here that it is only the purchases book that is erroneously overcast. So this is one-sided error. As you know, the purchases account is a revenue expenditure account. So all the entries belonging to the purchases account will be debited in the purchases account. So when you total, the purchases account will have a debit balance, and the overcasting results in excess debit. So to rectify this error we should credit the purchases account as this is one sided error the other account that need to be debited is suspense account with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let's first write the serial number let's then write the suspense account as the debit entry let's also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry Let us then write the debit amount of five hundred rupees in the debit amount column, leaving a margin. Let us record the purchases account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of five hundred rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being purchases book overcast by five hundred rupees error rectification recording. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. Here, the sales returns book is overcast by three hundred rupees. Note here that it is only the sales returns book that is erroneously overcast. So this is one-sided error. As you know, the sales returns account is a contract account for the sales account, and as you know, the sales account is a revenue account. So all the entries belonging to the sales returns will be debited in the sales returns account. So when you total. The sales returns account will have a debit balance, and the overcasting results in excess debit. So, to rectify this error, we should credit the sales returns account. As this is one-sided error, 
द अदर अकाउंट दट नीड टू बी डेबिटेड इज सस्पेंस अकाउंट With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write suspense account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of three hundred rupees in the debit amount column, leaving a margin. Let us record the sales returns account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of three hundred rupees in the credit amount column. Let's then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being sales returns book or cashed by three hundred rupees error rectification recording. Let's now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's now take up the next error. Here, the purchases returns book is or cashed by two hundred rupees. Note here that it is only the purchases returns book that is erroneously or cashed. So this is one sided error as you know the purchases returns account is a contract account for the purchases account and as you know the purchases are revenue expenditures so all the entries belonging to the purchases returns will be credited to the purchases returns account so when you total the purchases returns account will have a credit balance and so the overcasting results in excess credit so to rectify this error we should debit the purchases returns account as this is one sided error the other account that need to be created is suspense account with this analysis at our disposal let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us first write the serial number let us then write the purchases returns account as the debit entry let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let us then write the debit amount of 200 rupees in the debit amount column leaving a margin Let us record the suspense account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of two hundred rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being purchases returns book or cashed by seven hundred rupees error rectification recording. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries, and that is the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. edxit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements to watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel also please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published please click on the like button if you like this video thanks for watching